everyone, I hope you are all well. So, this $10 device can make your life easier. If you are an embedded system engineer or if you are an electronics lover or if you are an electronics hobbyist, so you must know this device. Uh, this will make your life easier, you can believe me. So today I will show you how to use this device and how to decode any protocols with this device you can you can decode i2c you can decode uart and you can decode spa communication so let's get started with this device first connect the device with your laptop and you can see from the left this is channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 channel 5 6 7 and the last is a uh, clock and the last one is uh, ground so before the last one this is clock and the last one is ground so now connect the, uh, it to so now you need to connect the channel 0 channel 1 and channel uh, 2 respectively to the logic analyzer so channel 0 uh, that means the yellow wire w will be connected to the TX pin of uh, STM32. So I will uh, use the TX pin of uh, Eward 1. And then the second one, which is uh, channel 1, will be connected to the SCL pin of the I2C display. Or, uh, and the last one will be connected to the that means channel 2 is clock and channel 3 is SCL data zero clock for i to see okay so let's go to the PC window and now you have to download the software from their official website this is Salai logic analyzer you can search uh, in google and then download the uh, desktop exe file for the logic analyzer software after completing download, install the software in your PC and open the software. I write a small piece of code to understand you uh, the clear concepts of uh, eWord in Logic Analyzer. Uh, the code is receiving the data from uh, the serial monitor and it sends out the data through eWord 1. So it can receive the data through eWord 2 and sends the data through eWord 1. So download, uh, upload the code in your STM32 and open logic software and also uh, open your serial uh, debugger software if you have any. I am using serial debug assistant <coughs> and uh, send the, I, I want to send the hello word to the uh, serial by serial. You can see this hello world will appear uh, here. So zoom in the code, uh, zoom in the signal. <coughs> uh, you can see the hello. So I want to show you uh, another uh, special thing because you can see the time period. One bit time period is 8.67 microseconds. You can see uh, the data is 8 bit data. So you can see the uh, uh, one bit data is 8.6 microseconds. So my baud rate is one on five two double zero. Uh, so if I divide one by one on five two double zero, so we can get the time of one bit timing, one bit uh, timing. So we can get uh, one uh, eight point six seven, six eight something. And this uh, logic software uh, is helping us to decode the data because we configured the uh, you configured the word by one on five two double zero. So you can see the data. Now I am configuring I two C. Uh, because I want to show you the I2C data, so I configure uh, channel one and two to the serial, uh, SCL and SDA pin. You can see uh, channel G channel one is uh, SDA and channel two is SCL. And save it. <coughs> this is the I2C configuration. It's very simple. Okay. So after configuring this. Uh, I want to uh, I want to see the data uh, from my uh, I, I have a uh, OLED display the display is communicating via I2C uh, you can see the code small piece of code so I am sending hello world 
to the uh, i2c display oled display so i just upload the code and After complete uploading the code to the microcontroller, you can see this signal. Uh, I, I, I configured my I2C frequency to 400 kilohertz. So you can see the frequency is like 400 kilohertz. And here is the data. Uh, this is two-way communication, uh, I2C, you can see. So this is the data by this. You can see your I2C data, your data. So you can also see the SPI data through uh, this device through this I hope this video will help you so for getting more contents like this for getting more tutorials for learning hit like and subscribe button and support me guys thank you very much again